Vibrations Podcast, Part 34, Diana Tang. Hi, I'm Gary Brightman, and this is my bi-weekly podcast called Vibrations. Established in 2018, Vibe is a book and music shop situated in Moi Wo on Lantau Island in Hong Kong. So what's been happening at the shop over the past couple of weeks? September proved to be the worst month of sales we've had since May 2018, maybe because of the exodus of people from Hong Kong, or maybe the weather. We did have a couple of typhoons. In October there were two public holidays, China National Day on the 1st of October, and Chung Yung Grave Sweeping on the 14th of October. So sales have picked up much better this month. Sadly, another independent bookshop closed, Bleak House Books after four years of trading. Our hearts go out to you guys and we wish you all the best in the future. As well as local authors and artisans, we like to promote local musicians and singers. So if you fancy performing a tiny desk gig at the shop one Saturday, or know someone who may do, then please contact me directly. This Saturday, the 23rd of October at 6pm, we have the Funkophones playing at Vibe and also broadcast live on our Facebook channel, Live at Vibe HK. Part retro, part funk, part pop and part plain fun, the Funkophones transport the 70s vibe to the modern era. And so to this week's interview. Diana Tang grew up like many Hong Kong girls in a traditional Chinese family and studied sociology at university. She realised that there are many different perspectives to see around the world and Hong Kong norms are not the only way to live. Her mother always wanted her to be a civil servant but she found herself working as a baker and then a cook in Moi Wo before travelling around the world and returning to Hong Kong in the summer of 2019. Upon her return, she had a chance to run a restaurant she named Littlefield by Cheng Sa Beach, and for a year, Diana established the brand. Many people think Littlefield is a bakery brand, but besides making long fermented bread, they are actually making a space that allows people to take their time. A space that challenges the impossible. A space that encourages breaking norms. She says that she believes, after all, people are looking for happiness and it's important to follow their hearts and not what the society tells them to do. Welcome to Vibe, Diana. Thanks, Gary. Nice to meet you. (laughs) And you too. So, as we do, we'll start off with 10 questions. So, favourite book or author? My favourite book is The Alchemist. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure you know about it. Yes. Uh, Shepard pursuing his dream yes. during traveling and uh, the interesting thing about this book is um, to me I I read this at 12 years old okay and I didn't think it's yeah. interesting I just think it's just for teenagers just a yes. storybook when I was 25 anyway I read this book again in my travel yeah and then I find it really um, inspiring uh, it says um, if you want to do something, really want to do something from yes. your heart, and the whole universe will conspire to help you. Do you have a favorite musical artist? But I like hip hop music, house music. Njabi, I like Njabi. So okay. DJ from Japan. He does um, lo fi hip hop. Do you have a preferred drink? Water. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Yes. Uh, it's healthier. Yes. Yeah, actually, I I actually quite like tea, and I used to drink tea with my family when we sit around at home yeah. and we just drink some tea. Do you have a life motto? Not really, but oh, that saying in the book, The Alchemist, that can be one. You want something to happen, the universe will help. Yeah. That yeah. thing to happen yeah. to yeah. conspire. Yeah. In the book, um, the. The wind even helped the shepherd to uh, to achieve his dream. Okay. So to to me, when I was twelve, I was I think it's nonsense, but yeah. I didn't realize it's um, just a metaphor. Do you have a favorite Hong Kong walk? Yeah, the trail from Park Gong Ao to the Sunset Peak, the super steep one. Yes, yes. I love that. I mean, it's challenging, but yeah. it's not too long. <laughs> yes. But um, I I actually. Um, camp at the peak once. Wow. Yeah, when it was the coldest 
night in Hong Kong back in 2017. Really? Some years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, um, Was that the time when they had sort of ice? Yes, that yes, thin exactly. layer of ice up yes. there, didn't they? Yeah, I thought it would be... I, I actually um, brought my tent with me. Yeah, yeah. And I use... I'm not like those full of gear i just yeah. wear casual wear <laughs> i use i don't know i wear one of those shoes yeah it's just a casual trainers. Yeah, yeah, trainers. yeah and i i i don't even have the poles with me but it was oh. steep and yeah. it was super windy i didn't look at the <laughs> weather forecast i mean i know it would be cold yes but yeah. anyway i'm not well prepared but then anyway yeah. i thought ah oh, it would be full of people <laughs> yes. like mong kok because it's like um, special day. Yes. And I went there, but I realized it's not. There's not many people. There are not really? many people, and it's super cold. And I tried to, I tried to camp, but I couldn't because it's too windy. Yeah. Couldn't set up my tent at all. Oh my god. <laughs> and I that just. This comes dangerous. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, but I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> I was <laughs> reckless. <laughs> reckless. But it was fun. It was adventurous. Yes. And yes. I, I planned to see the sunrise. Yes. The next morning, but I couldn't yeah. see anything because it's just foggy that tells me you're a very gutsy sort of person actually <laughs> to like be able to go up there reasonably unprepared <laughs> <laughs> but I, I somehow i survived yeah, yeah 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 i brought some hot tea some sandwiches and yeah just to keep myself warm thin sleeping bag yes but uh i didn't know it was n a minus five degree or something up there <laughs> my sleeping bag is for Nine degree, no. something like that. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. I don't know anything about gear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, back then, I was still working for Mark in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Uh, went there up after work. Yes. So I stayed the night there, and then when I um, got up in the morning, I was yeah. full of ice, and then I walk down to Pakongao and get a bus, and then get back to work, and I'm I was still frozen. I, Oh my well, god. I was still frozen and then Mark was like, who are you? <laughs> Just sleep. Do you have a favourite Hong Kong restaurant? Uh, it would be my restaurant then. <laughs> but cool. it was closed already. Yeah. The, yes. the restaurant uh, we ran last year, Chen Sha Beach. Just a hidden place. What was it called? Little Field. Same location as the stoop. Yeah, the one tucked away yeah. from the main road. <laughs> okay, I know yeah. it. So that would have been your favourite restaurant because it was yours. And what food did you do at Littlefield? What sort of? Um, we made salad, pasta, pizza, um, yeah. bagels. Okay. People, actually, people knew about us because of our bagel. And then yeah. they realized, oh, they, they figured that, oh, we have a restaurant in Chen Sha. Yes. So they come check it out. And then they found, oh, your pasta is nice, your pizza is nice, and they like it. But most many people come here just for bagel. Yeah, yeah. Well, I must admit, I love bagels. Faced with a python while walking up to the peak, what would you do? I don't really get this question. Can I? I so know. this is an un you didn't read the questions, did, I did you? But Bad I didn't, girl. I did. I did. <laughs> you didn't actually. prepare. A lot of Hong Kongers, for instance, would say, "Well, I'd take a photo of it because <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, okay. that's what Hong Kongers do." Yeah, I think yeah. I should do that too. I mean, yes. taking a photo of the python because, in case it bites me. I have yeah. something to prove. <laughs> You're a survivor, I can yeah. tell. You are a survivor in no, any gambler. situation. Gambler. Uh, you're a gambler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> take risks. You take risks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next question, number eight. Best advice you were given? Don't bother to argue with nonsense people. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. That's, that makes sense. Yeah, don't argue with fools or don't argue yeah, with idiots. Um, Finish this sentence, I live in Hong Kong because... For you, you were born in Hong Kong. Your family are from Hong Kong. But why do you stay in Hong Kong? Yeah, good question. Um, because of my parents okay. and grandparents. Yes. Yeah, they are old and I, I want to take care of them. Do you have a favourite area of Hong Kong? Lantau. Lantau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm, I moved to here. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I like the nature that I can just walk up to the mountain. And I yeah. can just go to the beach whenever I want. The time is allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So where do your parents live in Hong Kong and your grandparents? Um, my parents live in Mount Shan and my okay. grandparents, Sha Tin. Oh, OK. Mm. So right in the other corner of yeah, Hong Kong, like, isn't yes, it, really? Yes, Mount Shan. really far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how did you discover Lantau then? 
I was my first job was、yeah. um, a reporter of a like Life magazine. Okay. Just. Leisure magazine, yeah, and then I interviewed Kit from Village Bakery, and I discovered the job opportunity. I moved to here and I start working for started、okay. working for them. You were educated in Hong Kong, and then you went to Chinese university. university.、Yeah. You studied sociology. Yeah. When when did you leave university? What sort of year was that, and what did you do then? Two thousand thirteen. I finished. Yeah. University. And then I had this reporter job. Yes. And I I think I worked for three months. When I just、uh, entered the company, they closed they、yeah. closed the magazine. Yes. So you um you can work as a marketing person. Okay. But I, I'm not interested. And then I interviewed Kit from Village Bakery. Actually, I really I always wanted to run a restaurant. Okay.、Uh, besides the 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 sea. Yeah, it's like a dream. It's like everyone's dream. Yeah, but then I know I can't do it like instantly. Yeah. So I want to get prepared. Yes. So that's how I started working in F and B, and I figured that I quite like baking. Yes. Especially sourdough bread. Okay. Because it's a slow process, and、yeah. then you get to know the bread. Because for commercial bread, you use instant yeast. It's easy. It's, you don't. It's、yeah. no thinker. You just mix, ferment, shape, ferment, bake. Right, but、um, sourdough bread you need time,、um, patience,、okay. and you need to communicate with the dough because different temperature,、okay. different humidity, different climate, <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yes,、so、yeah, yeah. So you need to know your dough. Create different,、mm. yeah, know your dough. That's quite a good、mm. uh, slogan. Sourdough bread. I, I don't put oil in my sourdough bread. Just、okay. flour, salt, water. That's it. Right. Just three ingredients.、Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like the idea that you put. You use simple items, but、yes. you create great flavors. There you are. You're a reporter. You then interview somebody, which kind of gets you, awakens up your baking and bread、yeah. and, and sort of thing.、Mm -hmm. But then you go around the world at some point in time. You、yeah. go traveling. When when was that? And how come? I think 2016 or 17. I don't、okay. really remember the time. So you'd been. Generally, food and beverage yes, industry yes. for sort of three yeah, years yeah, after yeah, leaving university. Yeah, yeah. So, what made you decide I've got to travel? I actually always wanted to see the world,、yeah. but then I need money, right? And、um, and I, I don't ask my parents for that. I、yeah. make my own money and then I spend my own money, and、um, so I. But I so I need to save up some money before I、yeah. went on the trip. But then I was stuck in kitchen because I like working there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I think I should really go. I didn't plan to go around the world.、Okay. I thought I would be going to Europe only. Okay. Because I thought, ah,、oh, I should know. I met a lot of Europeans here yeah, in Gansu,、yeah. so I think I should get to know more about Europe. This、yes. area. I was not that ambitious because I know too little、yes. about the world. Yeah. Yeah. It was my first big trip. I've been to. Um, Vietnam, China, Japan. Yes.、Um, for a month, but it's not that long, like a year. Yeah. And I so I planned on a trip to Europe for a year. Yeah. And I even bought a Euro Trail the pass. Yes. Yes. To 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 get on the train. Yeah. Um. So I that's the plan. But then I, I actually started from Beijing, and then I took the bus to Mongolia. Okay. Bus and train to Mongolia. And then I、right. went to Moscow. Oh、um, no, I mean、uh, Russia. Okay. Also by train and took the super long Siberian train. Oh yeah, Trans Siberian yeah, Express. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would be exciting, but it's not、yeah. as exciting as I thought because I thought I would meet some people, meet some friends, meet、yeah. some interesting people, but not many Russians are that kind. Got、yeah. on the train and then people were staring at me, and because I maybe maybe because I'm a foreigner. Yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully they're protective. Defense, yeah, yeah. you look different to them.、Yeah. You're not from their place.、Mm. Who are you? What are you、yeah. doing there? Yeah, or maybe、yeah. they're just curious, or maybe they just didn't speak English. Yeah, I thought I used to thought、um, I was angry again, angry that they <laughs> or annoyed. <laughs> I was not angry、happy. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I used to. Yeah, and it was the start of my trip, so I was、yeah. still angry. Yeah, <laughs> I was annoyed because I thought people would be nice. It's an odd situation, but it's a very Brave thing to do. So, single female, young, <laughs> yeah. 
to get on a train from yeah, Beijing yeah. Trans Siberian Express. You weren't frightened at all in any way. No, be, I maybe because I'm just reckless. <laughs> <laughs> You're reckless. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. reckless, <laughs> and, and I just didn't think yeah much about it. I just think I thought just do it. <laughs> You're reasonably confident. You know, you're not easily scared. You know, you you seem to be empowered to do things. You don't have this sort of baggage that oh, I can't do this. You know? I actually you're very um, open. Opposite. I'm yeah. the opposite actually. Yeah. I'm not like what you think I'm. Oh really? Person. Yeah, okay. I, that's what I meant. Um, because I am. I grew up in a traditional Chinese family. I was yes. an an obedient girl. Yes. People liked me because I. I don't argue yes. much. I yeah. just do whatever I'm told to do. Right. Yeah. 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 And I got good grades at school. And yes. But at some point after I study uh, sociology, and yeah. I found that it's not there's only not norms. Uh, yeah. Different other ways, and I try to stay out of the comfort zone. I try yeah. to challenge myself. Yes. That's me actually. I'm. Yeah. I'm not that kind of. Um, You know, brave. I was not that brave. Yes. But yeah. I asked myself to do, just do it. Yeah, you challenge yourself I, yeah. to do. And then yeah. I, yeah. I found that it's fun. Yeah, yeah. And I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so yeah. why not? You yeah, know. it's like something release. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do you have brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have an yeah. older sister and younger brother. Ah, okay. Mm. And are they similar to you or very different to you? Quite different, actually. My yeah. elder sister is an, an artist. Okay. She is not as. Um, it's not she. She's not adventurous. She is not that outgoing. Yes. Yes. Um. She, but she thinks a lot. Yes. She can. She reads a lot. Yes. Uh, mostly, if it's art, mostly history. Art, okay. Uh, hi- art history. Right. So right. I think he has some. He thinks deep. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And my brother is a um, um, uh, civil engineer. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He, yeah. He he likes. He also likes traveling. He yes. Likes outdoor. Yeah. This part we we shared in common. All right. So let's go back to you're on the Trans Siberian Express. Yeah. You're going across Russia. Mm-hmm. You're heading towards Europe at you, that yeah, stage. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you pop up? Where do you get off? Where I, do you, what do you do? I went to Eastern Europe. Was the first Estonia? Estonia. Estonia. Yeah, okay. the first yes. stop. I yeah. actually plan to do Northern Europe and then go to UK and yeah, and then go back to Europe. But then I changed my plan completely. <laughs> I didn't plan any any of my. Uh, I mean, I didn't plan to go to Eastern Europe or no or or, or Africa or South America. I plan to do something else, but I didn't do and I didn't do any of the. Anything yes. in the plan, and okay. I actually uh, applied for the marathon in France and also in Manhattan. Oh but wow! But I just gave them up <laughs> and, oh. and, and waste yeah. some money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's not on my route. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I want to because I want to plan something before the trip. Yes. Because. You, to make myself feel secure. Yes. But so then, you head for something. <laughs> yeah. But then I, what do you say that you, you change, change your mind? Yeah. You change. yeah <laughs> once you're on the trip. Yeah. So I mean I think that's perhaps one beauty of travelling on your own is that nobody to argue with or convince True. that you can't do anything. Yeah. So you see a crossroads and you say, shall I go left or right? Ah, yeah, I'll go right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know. Yeah. Yes. So, th- and that seems to be how you you did things. So, you travel. You go to Estonia, and then you go to where? Where from there? All by train or bus? Actually, because it's cheaper. Yeah. To yes. Bus. Yeah. And um, then to Latvia, um, Poland, Czech, Hungary, yeah. Bulgaria, all those Eastern Europe country. Which I haven't been to any of those. Really? No. Mm. <laughs> oh, but uh, um, yeah. but it's quite similar to. Um, I mean, they are quite similar. Yes, they yes, they are similar. Yeah, I was so excited at first, and then it was my first time to see snow on the trip. Yes. Haven't seen snow, um, and but but then I realized it's castle. They are all castles, yes. old town, um, 
pebbled road <laughs> yes <laughs> cafe <laughs> yes they look similar and yes. people are quite cold actually yeah like um i had experience like i had in russian or russia yeah people are quite cold to me they don't yeah. really want to talk to me okay. and then the only yeah yeah maybe in the hostel i talked yeah. to some indian guys but just that i didn't talk to yeah. many locals i was quite bored i think you're a communicative person yeah. and therefore mm. you need that stimulus really i'm yeah. like i would you know i'd feel mm. l- you can't live your life being a, a buddhist monk or whatever can mm, you so no. <laughs> yeah and I also so, I, i love the nature right so i yes. went on a, uh, some hikes by myself and mm. i figured that when i walk up to the destination and then i just i sit there and then I was like, so what? <laughs> At that well, you point, made it. The journey yeah, was the thing, no. not necessarily the arrival. <laughs> yeah, true. I, I, the scenery is amazing. Yes. Still, the, you yeah. know, the nature is so beautiful. But at some point, I realized that. Yeah. Oh, I like I like people. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. After all, <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. I can be all alone, and I yeah. said I love me time. Yes. I thought, I thought, but then. It's interesting that I also watch a movie called Into the Wild. Okay. Have you watched that? A I haven't. Mer- Sounds like a horror film to no, me. But it's no, <laughs> an American guy um, finished his degree and then okay. he cut all those, you know, identity cards. Oh. And he okay. uh, donate all the money and then he went yeah. went on the trip to Alaska. Okay. And uh, he abandoned his parents and he just yeah. went on the trip. He said he think oh, I need to go there to my dream. But then after all he died there. Yeah, because of the storm and he couldn't get out of the area. Yeah. He died in a abandoned bus. Right. Poisoned and he ate something and then but oh he realized God. that uh, happiness only real when uh, only real when shared. So it's interesting that in, during the trip I watched this movie, yes. and it reminds me of that very yeah. much. Yeah, happiness yeah. only real when shared. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's. It should right. be my life motto. Yeah, <laughs> they should be. That is should. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it should be. But I think if you have a motto like that, then that means you won't do things. You might close yourself off from sometimes doing something on your own. That may be better enjoyed on your own. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you don't want to set yourself boundaries in a way, do you? You don't no, not have to have rules. You no. know, well, who says we've like got to live by rules? <laughs> no, yeah, not yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah, forget rules. Mm. Rules are made to be broken, as yeah, they exactly, say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're in kind of Eastern Europe. Then you decide to go to Western Europe, I guess. You know, where do you go to next? I went to. Germany because it was Christmas, so oh, I thought it should nice. be yeah. And I, I also met I met an a Taiwanese girl okay. in Mongolia, and right. then we have we are in, we were in contact, and she said she'll be in Germany. So I I said I'm coming with you oh, because wow. I need people. I yeah, need yes. some people. So I yes. I was actually in Greece. Yeah. Somehow <laughs> I was in Greece, <laughs> and then I told her I'm coming, and then yeah. I spent the um. um Some time with her. Yes, yes. But then she is meeting some friends of her, so I'm yeah. not going to, you know, stay with stay with her. So I found a family to to stay right. using the platform work away. It's like a work exchange oh. platform. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I stay in the place and work for them, and then ah. they yes gave me a room and food. Yes. Stuff like that. My sister does that. Mm. She lives in Italy, and she often. Takes people in from all over the world. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a an, similar thing. Yeah, it's an interesting yeah. way to you know. Yeah, you share your skills or mm. whatever. So you're baking or whatever, and then they yeah. feed you. And it's easy to get on a train, I guess. <laughs> but it's when you get off that <laughs> you have to deal with the situation. You know, you've got to find somewhere to sleep all the time. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. And you've got to get money all the time, and you've got to get food. The very basics, you know, shelter, yeah. food. Yeah. Um, and you always managed that, did you? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saved up enough money to do uh, to to secure the you know the food at hostel. S- yeah. And I, I know some cheaper way to do that. The Taiwanese girl, she hitchhike, she um, couch surf. Couch. Oh, couch surf. Couch. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. They, That's staying said, in somebody's house, sleeping on their couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> the idea. But most of the time, she got her own room. Right. So, but I didn't find it very comfortable to me. 
because no. I stay there. I don't want to bother people. I feel like I owe I them agree. something. Yeah. So I don't want to stay in people's couch. I don't want to hitchhike. No. I mean, yeah, I think like, it's a little bit dangerous in a way. Yeah, it isn't can it? be dangerous. That's, yeah, especially yeah. female. I, yeah. I would be worried actually. I mean, as a guy, you can defend yourself maybe. Yeah. But you don't know who you're staying yeah. with, do you? You it don't know what they're be. like. They could be a bit crazy. Yeah. But people like us, like the Taiwanese girl, yeah, and me, we are not thinking about this. No, <laughs> we, no. we don't have much money. You know? the, the, yeah. the danger, it, the danger is not the first thing we are no. concerned. So, uh, but for me, it's just I'm just not comfortable to stay yeah. with strangers. I need some yeah. time to develop. Well, of course. Yeah. I think most trust. people are like that. Actually, yeah. mm. it's not normal to, and it's not a good thing to trust everybody you meet no. because mm. you know i i think nine times out of ten you will meet good people one time you might meet some crazy true. person and yeah. regret it so yeah. um I, I actually yeah. i try to think that most people are nice people so yeah I, me too uh, that's, yeah. yeah but that's why i'm telling you i'm a gambler <laughs> like, yeah i'm just i bet i bet most people are you'll nice bet people. on the odds yeah yeah, yeah. well i'm the same <laughs> i think you lead a better life if you trust people yeah. and believe the best in people mm -hmm. if you always suspect somebody yeah. or whatever th then you're always sort yeah. of uptight mm -hmm. about it and, exactly. and you know most people as we say I would reckon nine times out of ten are good people yeah. honest people yes. just want to get through life enjoying yes. things yes. safe feed themselves yes. you know? yes. <laughs> yeah. it makes me feel better yes yes <laughs> to believe you know, the yeah, world is. <laughs> a nicer place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're doing all this traveling, and you're obviously a Hong Konger, so you have a phone with you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do have a phone. Do you take a lot of photos? No, uh, my phone was a shitty phone, and then it. You had it, a shitty phone. Yes. You went all that way with a shitty phone. Yes, and because <laughs> I tried to bring at least a uh, thing yeah. with me as yes. possible because I don't want to carry heavy stuff. Yeah. It's still uh, heavy to me because I got more gears on the way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't bring a camera. I right. only got my shitty phone and so I didn't I didn't take a lot of photos. I take minimal, yeah. <laughs> minimal photos, the most important. See, from a photographer's point of view, I'm a photographer and I, I think, oh my God, yeah, <laughs> what an opportunity, know, all of that. I I regret but it. But having said that, you know, that's just my need to record. For you, all your their images burnt on your memory. You can look back and you can tap into those images, can't you? I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I thought, oh, the most important thing would be printed in my memory. Yes. It's yeah. just. But when I came back, I was like, oh, it's a shame that I didn't take the photo because I yeah. couldn't share with people. Show people what yeah. this is what it's like. Yeah, yeah. I would. I yeah. would like to share. Yeah. But then I could only yeah share the story. Yeah. But then, but you Maybe. still have those stories. You've got a good memory. You've got a photographic yeah. Um, yeah. sort of. You can see it in your own mind, which yeah, is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so you go to Germany. You meet up with your friend, your Taiwanese friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, do you travel with her for the rest of the trip? Or? Not really, because yeah. um, she has some friends around Europe. So yeah. She, um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't really want to tag along. Yeah. I know we, uh, you know, soul traveler. Yeah. We like to do our own stuff. Yeah. And he likes to hitchhike, and I can't really do that. She could um, stay on the, stay by the road, and you know. See that? Is yeah, a dangerous to do that as well. Yeah, and in the rain, in snow, she can do that. But I, I didn't want to do that because no. it needs the whole day, the entire day to yeah. hitch a ride. Yeah. But then to me, it's like a waste of time. I want to yeah. see. Things. Continually yes. be moving. Yeah, Continue. yeah, I could yeah. understand that. I would, I would rather pay for the bus. Yeah, yeah, it's not fair really enough. expensive. But and I chose to stay in cheap country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, so I didn't visit UK, France. <laughs> okay, so you get all that way, and then what do you do? Do you come back? No, I I continue to um 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 Morocco, Morocco. Yeah, okay, I North the, Africa. I met some other traveler yeah. during the trip when I was in Bulgaria. I tried to do different stuff because I was bored, and then I, yeah. I, I, won't, I don't want to go back yeah. to Hong Kong because it was, yeah. I think it was like only three months later. Yeah, okay. Three months. Um, the trip is was only like three months, and I, I was like, I need to do something different or yeah. something exciting. Okay. So I tried work away. Yeah. I tried um, skiing. 
I do skiing. Really? I learn, yeah, I try to learn something new. Yes. Yeah, because when you get bored, you learn something new, and then yeah. you, you'll be you know excited. Yeah. Um, I tried. I went to Bulgaria. And could you ski? Not really. <laughs> I fell yeah. too many times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I couldn't. Can be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are you, and then I went to South America. Yeah, See, that to me <laughs> is dangerous. I would <laughs> yeah, say, if I was your father, <laughs> I would say to you, do not go to South America. They didn't know. <laughs> I didn't tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to test my mum once a week or once a month, yeah. and then she didn't respond to me anymore. Because really? she was like, yeah, she was, I, I sent her beautiful pictures. Yeah. And then she told me once, I, I wish I could do that. And then I feel a little oh, bit sad actually. Lesser. And then yeah, and then oh. and then I keep I kept sending some photos, but maybe to her it's like similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she yeah. didn't respond, so I stopped texting. <laughs> oh, that's sad. And then sad. at some point, at some yeah. point, I was in South America. South yeah. America. Yeah. <laughs> South America. Whereabouts? What um, country? Colombia. 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 Right. Okay. Where all the drugs come from? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, the heaven. <laughs> but I didn't take any drugs. Yeah. So you're doing some work there. How long do you stay? Colombia. One month, actually. Nearly one month. Okay. Mm. I stayed in a beach for a week. Yeah. It's called Playa Blanca. Okay. The white beach is yes. by the Caribbean Sea. Wow. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Oh. I I thought I would stay there for only one night or two. Yeah. But then, um, someone told me that oh you can stay longer. You can sell stuff. You can make yeah. money. And then I didn't have much cash with with me. Yeah. So I thought it, okay, oh yeah, it's a good idea. Yes. So I, I tried to sell stuff there. Yeah. But uh, it didn't really work out. But I had mm. fun. Yeah, I didn't make a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, I meet meet some people. Yes. Because I yeah. walk around on the beach yes. several times, and the people all know about me. Yeah. They told me I'm queen of Baru. The, the, the <laughs> island is Baru, Isla of Isla Baru. They called yeah. me queen of Baru because I'm first. I'm the first <laughs> Hong Kongese yeah. who visited that place. Wow. Yeah, and then they were super excited to see a Chinese. They were they like Chinese. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, so yeah. I feel welcome. I like that place. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm like Russia. <laughs> yeah. You go from Colombia, then where, where else did you go to? Ecuador. Ecuador? Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, I learned surfing there. I learned different stuff during my trip. That's good. It makes it really fun. Yes. <laughs> fun. Okay, so you're in South America. Do you stay in South America or do you then... I think the whole journey in South America is yep. um, um, 80 days because I bought oh, okay. it and a return a ticket. Right. I regret about it because uh, it's so yeah. amazing. South uh, yeah. America is yes. beautiful. It's big and uh, I could have traveled there for a year. Yes. Mm. Yeah. But only 80 days. And then I head back to uh, the way home. I go back to okay. China for a month, like Xinjiang, Tibet. Okay. Yeah, and then I did a lot of hiking during the trip. Yes. When I came back, I yes. uh, passed through China, and I took a train uh, from Beijing to Xinjiang, and it was a 30, 39 hour trip. Thirty nine hours. Yeah, and wow. then I just sit. I bought yeah. this. I tried to uh, make it cheap, so yeah. I bought a the hard seat. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Parky. Yeah, and and thirty nine hours, and many people didn't yeah. even have their seat. They stand around. Wow. It's hard, but then people were really nice that they share food, they change, they uh, exchange seats. They said, "Oh, I sit enough. You can have a seat, and I can stand for a uh, bit." Ah, that's they nice. Change. Yeah, they yeah. they're nice actually. Yes. So you come back to Hong Kong, and we're twenty nineteen now. You're back to Hong Kong. Yeah. And so you reunite with your family, and then you remember. Lantau was a good place to live. Yeah. And yeah. that you left Mark in the kitchen when you left here. Yeah. Uh, actually, so you come back to see him or? Yeah, yeah. I actually, yeah. Uh, because the trip was uh, last a year, right? And yeah. I, it was in 2016. Yeah. And then I came back to work for Mark for uh, another yes. half a year. Yes. He, okay. told, he told me, you will be rehired whenever you're, you're back. Yeah. And he's very kind. <laughs> Again. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. And then I worked there for just half a year. Yeah. And I went on to another trip. I work in, I had this uh, working holiday visa uh, okay. in New Zealand. So I worked oh, there nice. for a year, around a year. Right. I work in a bakery. 
That's ah. uh, how I trained myself. Yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> so you go there, you learn your trade a bit more there, and then you come back to Hong Kong mm -hmm. around sort of 20, 2019 yeah. by that time. Yeah. Yeah. And then how, how did it come about that you set up Littlefield? Um, I had this chance to run the, the the restaurant by the beach, right? Yeah. So I have this place to uh, bake, to make food, and yeah. But then, because I was all alone, and it's not easy to run oh, a restaurant alone. It's impossible, I think. No, <laughs> yeah. it's not. And then I had a friend who do this, uh, yeah. who did this with me for a month. But then yeah. she got a full time job. She also went to New Zealand with me, actually. But then yeah. when she come back, maybe she decided not to work in F and B. Yes. I yeah. actually had the same idea because I want to because it's a long working hour job. Yeah. I want I wanted to spend some time alone or with friends or with family. Yeah. So I I was looking for a five day job. Couldn't find any around. Uh, Lantau, I mean yeah. in Lantau. So when then I had this chance, so I thought, yeah, I should try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something belong wow, why not? to me. You've been doing that now for nearly two, two years. years. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And so you started on your own. Have you now got a few people around you to help you, volunteers and things? Mm, no, I, I, I've got a full time a, a partner. Yeah. They work full time with me. Ah, good. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have two people now because yeah. um, now the, yeah. the restaurant is taken by somebody else. So um, we are not running the restaurant anymore. So, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. am now only running the bakery part. So people just online uh, order bread from on, uh, online, yeah. and then I deliver to town. So I was quite pleased to hear that you do have customers all around Hong mm, Kong at least. Yeah. Um, and I figure that the market is bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because I don't want to be competitive with local bakery. Mm. Do you think it's sustainable? I can pay me and my partner, That's but good. then I can't really save up money to expand the business. Yeah. So we're still thinking some ways to expand the business, like organizing yeah. some workshop or... Okay. Yeah, I'm doing some consulting job for a vegan cafe in Central, actually. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had a friend who worked for the restaurant and then he yeah. was the chef. So he introduced right. me to help them with baking. Ah. So I went there once a week to, to teach them. Yes. To, and also yeah. in future, I would like to create some online course yeah like sourdough and bagels and stuff because yeah. i don't have i don't really have a big place to do workshop yes so if online course works then it would be great and it's yeah easier for people to approach all right so if people want to contact you how would they do that do you have a facebook presence do you have whatsapp what how do the things work yeah instagram would be, instagram yeah it would be great i put a lot of photos and what we're doing okay. stories and stuff in the in the instagram okay yeah it's called little field hk little underscore field underscore hk okay mm. little underscore field underscore hk yeah, yeah. and that's only on instagram and that's how people can see what you do yeah, and yeah, yeah. all your details are on there as yeah, well i yeah. guess and they can inbox me yeah Okay, Easy. that just leaves me to say, Diana Tang, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you can listen to all our Vibrations podcasts published on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Amazon Music, TuneIn and Alexa, Stitcher, Listen Notes, Player FM, SoundCloud and a few others. Or... You can watch our YouTube channel under Live at Vibe HK or follow the links from my website at vibehk.com. The opening and closing music is from my good mate in Tong Fook on Lantau Island, Pete Millwood. It's called Green Island Dub by Celestial and is on the Retrospect vinyl album on sale at Vibe. Finally, a reminder that Vibe is open seven days a week, every day of the year, from 12 noon until approximately 6.30pm. In fact, this week, we passed a major landmark of 650 days of Vibe being consecutively open. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for listening to the 34th Vibe Book and Music Shop podcast called Vibrations. I'm Gary Brightman. You get my vibe? Can you imagine what this old island must have looked like to those Dutch sailors when they first saw it? Fresh green. Fresh green. Fresh green. Like a 
dream of a new world. They must have held their breath. Afraid it would disappear before they could touch it. 